Guys, welcome back to Gunshots. I'm here in this suspiciously spring-like feeling day at Bio Shooting Ground. It's beautiful. Um, and I've got the Browning Maxis. This is the Browning Maxis Ultimate Partridge. Uh, the sort of high-end, uh, nice wood, bit of engraving version of the Maxis. The Maxis range starts out with the, at the very, very basic end at about £600. And then this one, I think, is the kind of the top of the range at uh, 1400 or thereabouts new. This one's second hand in the gun room at Biowell. I don't actually know what price it's up at. I haven't had a chance to check the ticket. Uh, okay, let's talk about oily bits as ever. 30 inch barrels on this. We are um, backboard 18.7 in vector chokes. Uh, we've got a 6mm game rib with a red front bead. Uh, it's a 3 inch chamber. And um, the gas system is basically shared with the uh, Winchester SX series guns, with the notable exception that it's got a really, really clever forend. So unlike most uh, semi-autos where you've got a, a big uh, bolt holding the forend on, on this, it is, you push that little uh, detent in and pop that lever up and off she pops. Dead handy, I think that's an excellent feature on this gun. Um, the gas system, as I said, very, very similar to the Winchester guns. Um, you've got very, very familiar piston, um, action bar, etc. Um, short throw very very fast if you've watched any of uh, Raniero Testa the little uh, orange Italian chap um, that lad can put a lot of, air, a lot of uh, lead in the air with these guns because they are very very quick personally never felt the need to put that much lead in the air myself <laughs> um, as you can see reassembly very very simple basically pull that down pop that on job done however bear in mind obviously this is a gas gun and as such that uh, mag tube gets awful dirty with a bit of shooting. Um, the gas system vents off obviously into that, that area and pushes the piston up and down and you do get a lot of uh, uh, kind of detritus and soot and whatever in there. Um, one thing about this gun that I really don't like is the shape of this forend. It's massive in my opinion. It's just really, really big. I mean, well checkered, lovely bit of wood, really, really clever um, latch system, but I don't know, it just feels like holding a box. The, uh, it's just not shaped at all to fit, I don't know, yeah, I don't like it. The action itself, aluminium with the uh, obviously the steel barrel shroud that comes back into here, um, is uh, engraved, obviously machine engraved. Uh, reasonably nicely done. It's got some partridge on it and some uh, some pheasant on the other side. Uh, trigger group is actually quite nice on this particular gun. The trigger pull is quite crisp, um, unusually so, and notable for that. I'm still not a massive fan of this. Um, safety placement it feels quite bulky and i know it's meant to be sort of obviously engaged and disengaged with one of the joints on that finger but i don't know it just feels like to me it's in the way um coming back to the stock reasonably well shaped typical for a um a semi-auto quite thin although uh very very subtle pistol uh palm swell and the pistol grip well radiused and well checkered one notable thing about this gun, along with all the other bits you get in terms of chokes and various other sort of spares that you get with it, is um, the fact that it comes with some butt spacers. And it means that you can actually set this gun up to actually fit a human. Most autos come and they're far too short and you've got to buy aftermarket um, spacers to get them to fit you. This one actually has two with it, so I've stuck an extra half inch in there to bring it up to actually fit me. Um, it was at 14 and a half out of the box, 15 inch now, and it fits quite nicely. Shooting wise, very, very soft, obviously really, really fast. Um, not a lot kind of commotion that you notice when you're shooting it. It's just, um, you know, it shoulders well enough, moves well enough. However, I have found, for whatever reason, I just haven't been able to get on with it. Um, this gun, I've just not been able to place it quite how I would. I'm not sure why, but I found myself missing quite a few with it. And I, I don't know, perhaps I need to spend more time with it to sort of get used to it. And it just feels like it's kind of less than the sum of its parts. But that might just be me. Um, by all means, I think with everything like this, if you watch this, by all means you want to buy one, go shoot one, go try it. Um, I've not gone on with it, but that doesn't mean you will. Um, in terms of value for money, obviously starting out with the uh, the bottom end of the Maxis range at about £600, um, that's not bad at all, because there are plenty of guns in that range, and they all much for muchness. As I said, they more or less platform share with Winchester. Um, but at what this costs you 1400 quid it's up against the a400 and the a400 is kind of a class leader certainly for clay shooting um i'm not sure uh what it's kind of doing for that money i mean like, like i said nice bit of wood on it but then again so does the beretta um nicely sort of pretty bit of a uh, engraving on the action obviously machine cut but then the beretta comes with that kind of blue finish which a lot of people like um, I don't know. I think it's one of those things, if you like Brownings, you'll wind up buying one of these. If you like Brothers, you'll buy one of those. Um, 
but I would say if it were me and it were my money I'd be willing to spend a little bit more and go for a Benelli Raffaello because I think they're fantastic I actually have an M2 I couldn't quite justify the cost of a Raffaello because I don't use it for clay shooting but um, that would be where my money would go having said that though a perfectly um, competent gun as I said it's just not been for me Thanks everyone for tuning in guys, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, please support me on Patreon, um, take a look at my um, Instagram, at P. Um, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the show. And as ever, please go take a look at the Battle website where this gun and many others like it are also available. See you next time.